Sanglar. Huh. Oh, uh, good. These two seem to be having a good time, which is just wonderful because after everything that Ashlyn has been through the last few days, you know, trying to figure out human haggling and attempting to go ahead and actually start making some of that money that humans use as a game to go ahead and, you know, actually have a successful, like, everything uh she's been having a hard time and so she has gone ahead and we have actually brought rocky out on a date that she suggested to a mysterious diner behold my friends a interesting typical 50s diner that has showed up somewhere deep inside of chestnut ridge it's quite the odd place because it seems as though it only appears every now and then and oh rocky hasn't been acting like his normal self lately he's been very scared and a bit paranoid embrace the change <laughs> I wonder why he's scared and paranoid. That's not him at all. He's self-assured. Like, we're totally not going for that. What was that? Heard a strange noise. Goosebumps. Oh my gosh. So, um, <clears throat> yes, you see, you see, uh, there are indeed some odd things going on around here. And it's a very interesting diner that we have suddenly found ourselves at, where things just seem to be just a teensy, tiny, itty bitty bit off. Nobody can quite put their fingers on it, uh, and actually it seems to be somewhere that people like Ashlyn are actually very, very comfortable at. But, um, yes, yes, it's definitely a unique location, and the food that they serve here only at night is uh, quite interesting. But this diner, it just, you know, you seem to take a wrong turn every now and then, and you just don't find your way back to it, and there's something about it where it's just very easy to get lost on your way there. So, thankfully, Rocky doesn't have to worry about that, and Ashlyn has gone ahead and she has invited him out to a place that serves some food that she thinks he is going to enjoy quite a bit, considering the fact that he is currently pregnant with alien babies. So we're gonna go ahead, um, let's see, let's have a deep conversation because that's one of the goal dates, and then let's order some of the food for the table that I think Rocky will actually wow. enjoy. A specialty dish that's a little out of this world, you might say. <laughs> but here we go, guys. I loved the idea that potentially we could go ahead and we could have uh, Ashlyn introduce Rocky to a diner that serves alien foods, aka the really, really cool, like, experimental foods that came with the Dine Out pack. Still one of my favorite meals that you can possibly, like, get and you can only start making it after you go ahead and eat it. So to celebrate finally figuring out a little bit of, you know, how to haggle with humans, we are here to go ahead and have a dinner date with some alien meals because Ashlyn thinks Rocky would very much enjoy this <laughs> since he is indeed pregnant with alien babies. Uh, so he has these odd cravings that just nothing has been able to fix and she thinks that he might really appreciate some of what we've got over here. So I love the experimental dishes. I love them so much. And you can only get them if you pop over to like one of the diners and you eat them. But I'm hoping we can recreate them I mean, I guess we would have to work on getting the cooking skill up that high, but you know what? Ashlyn's really starting to bond with Rocky. Whatever happens in terms of her alienness seems to have really made it so that she feels like bonded to him in some way. And I don't know if that always comes with love with her like race or species, but I think that she's starting to catch on to this human concept of uh, romance as well. So let's go ahead and order for the table. Um, let's see, so let's go ahead and for Rocky, we've got like rainbow water, root beer floats, plasma juice, ocean water, uh, love potion, Sakura tea. Uh, we've also got, oh, I love these little cute little appetizers because just look at how cute they are. Honeyed world fruit charterie, uh, glaze, glacier infused iceberg lettuce, savory bacon love petals, uh, fruit gel and foam nest. Like these are just ridiculously cool. So, all right, um, right, I'm trying to remember. So that's how we order for everybody. So I think that actually love potion number four is what Ashlyn would be after because she's kind of feeling a wee bit romantic. Uh, and Rocky, there's alien juice. What would be good for him? Rainbow water. What's something that just seems like, there's bell pepper juice and spinach juice and acorn coffee. <laughs> 
and nettle wine. Oh my goodness. A uh, dry, light, and crisp wine with the earthy and summery characteristic of nettles. Um, you know what? How about just a, a good old, like, root beer float, which turns out it wasn't actually an earth creation, that he can go ahead and have. And then, oh man, I love these things so much. I mean, look at the jungle boss egg with lavender wisps, the volcano pasta, the honeycomb garden vegetable crops, uh, like, rustic paint drizzled and aged gus like what does that even mean space taco with poached egg core um i think and then there's like oh i just love that that fruit nest and oh my gosh and then of course there's the desserts the crystallized choco blocks uh and the andromeda cake the earth cookie and the nebula donut are actually from icy mun mun the creator uh we've, who just makes so much food uh and then it, it matched so i went ahead and added it we've also got vertical berry cake and vanilla sea shells and chocolate caviar holy cow noodles so i think I think for Ashlyn, she would get the uh, spearized fruit gel in foam nest. And I think for Rocky, we're going to go ahead and he's going to get the space taco with egg pearl core. <laughs> and we'll have to like work our way up to being able to get the other foods at some point too. Aw man. So this, this lot does have a very odd spooky tone to it somehow. Just like I said, everything's just a little bit off. I don't know if it's the fact that basically everybody who works here wears hats and, uh, you know, down in the, uh, down in the kitchens, you know, the chef, chef is kind of an interesting person, we could say. However, I'm sure that the deal, like the meal is going to be absolutely fantastic. Uh, is this a little art piece we can go ahead and view? Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Uh, and let's see if we can make this like just a cute date because here here's the thing Rocky has not been uh, able to go ahead and admit Zarzuya that Yerba. he actually That's needs speaking? to accept Dota that Pepe? you know Zamana he's got Zara. he's got a, a alien baby on the way let's see maybe we can go ahead maybe share ideas to try to like really start talking with him deep thoughts we'll try another deep conversation Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Stomping off to go put the order in. <laughs> oh my goodness. I forgot how cute it can be to be at restaurants because we haven't been here for so long. Oh, that's so cute. She's feeling super flirty from a hot dinner date. Um, He's just joking about body hair. Oh my gosh. But here's the thing. We brought him here to go ahead and maybe answer some of those alien pregnancy cravings he's been having and didn't know. Uh, let's see. I guess we'll share ideas again. In an attempt to try to help Rocky realize, like, yeah, you know, you already accepted that aliens are real, but you really need to know that that's not just from all the hamburger cake. There's a baby on the way, because uh, we still have his dazed moodlet, and that goes away after he reaches logic level 3 and is able to go ahead and accept, Oh boy, pineapple guy would like to purchase our tiger frog! Oh jeez, I've been trying to get stuff done on Plopsy forever, and now's the time people are going to message me? But I just really love that idea. Oh, and he's exhilarated. Haunted houses are awesome. Oh my gosh. See, so this lot seems a little creepy. And uh, see, I knew he wouldn't be paranoid because Rocky absolutely would think that this was like the coolest thing ever. He wants to take a selfie. He definitely wants to eat food. He still wants to chat with that tree guy. I want him to focus on what's in front of him. Oh my gosh. He's just being a goose. Fine, you goofball. Like tell a knock knock joke. If No, where are you going? What are you doing? Hello? Are we just playing? Oh. See what's happening? Like, what's going on here, huh? <laughs> let's, let's sit back down. Sit back down. Like, we're waiting for the, the order to be delivered, right? Okay. This is always the musical chairs that you get super nervous about. When... Okay. So, I think she's off to the bathroom. <laughs> This is the musical chairs I always get super nervous about because you want to make sure that your sims don't wander off. But here's the idea. We're waiting. Oh, our food. Yes. <laughs> Look at how cool it is. I swear I am so obsessed. Oh my gosh, that is such a perfect meal for Rocky. I think he's smelling it and he's like, wait a second. There's something. There's something about this that just is, it's so appealing. All right, Rocky. So we'll go ahead. Uh, Let's see. Take photo of the experimental food, please. Yeah, I love the idea that there's just something about it that's just making his head spin. 
Uh, yay! Gourmet cooking skill! To make meals of a classier variety, the higher the skill level, the more the recipes are unlocked. There we go. Oh, that's right! And the pictures of the recipes, or the pictures of the food, look completely different than normal. Uh, how many pictures can I get, actually? I never thought about that before. Uh, oh my gosh, I can just keep taking pictures of it over and over again. <laughs> we could go ahead and we can use one of these to give to uh, Irwin as a bribe for being like, yeah, look, this is what aliens eat. Um, meanwhile, I wonder if I can go ahead and is Ashlyn using the restroom actively right now? Or is she, she's on her way back. Can I take a picture of her food really quickly? <laughs> He's like, nah, that's somebody else's. All right, well, we'll have to like have her take a picture of it then. Uh, and then I want to wait for her to get here. So maybe we could have him. There we go. See, that's better. And now we'll go ahead and have her take a picture. That was really polite. He actually waited on his own for her to get back. <laughs> Yay! They're actually functioning. It's so rare that they actually like work. Oh my gosh, look at those cute pictures of the food. And I hope we can start unlocking the recipes for this because I would love to make more like little alien dishes. We could even have like a little alien night where we could invite like the other aliens over that Ashlyn's trying to keep in touch with here on Earth. And we could even make it so that um, we could just serve these experimental dishes. We could make it a whole holiday or something. That would be adorable. All right, now Rocky, there we go. Are you going to start feeling flirty now that- <laughs> Take a photo of the experimental food! Oh my gosh, he wants to- he wants more. <laughs> if only Rocky had level 5 cooking skill, he could have learned to cook this experimental dish at home. Well, like heck, uh, I would be more than happy to like order more stuff for the table. Can I do that? Can he order more food? Because he, he thought that was delicious? Because that would be so funny. And meanwhile, drink a glass of nectar is actually what Ashley wants to do. I didn't know that I could actually go ahead and I could order more food. My mind is blown! Because I've, I've so rarely, rarely, rarely been able to go ahead and send my sims out to eat at a restaurant because normally they just make all their food at home. But what would Rocky... I feel like the jungle moss... The jungle moss egg with lavender wisps would definitely be catching his eye now. So let's order another. I didn't know you could keep just ordering over and over again. That's so awesome. All right, all right. And can we go ahead and drink our flirty drink? If only Ashton had level five cooking, she could cook the deal at home. The meal at home. Got it. Who has the higher cooking? Uh, da, 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 da. uh okay. Let's sort by name. <laughs> Okay, so Ashlyn has level 2 cooking and Rocky has level 3 cooking! So he might actually be able to make that, but it'll still be a little bit. Alright, there you go, you guys! Rocky wants to get a little bit more food, but that just gives us more time to go ahead and have a deep conversation with him and try to impress upon him. Aww! They're just flirting on their own, that's so cute! But that gives us more time to have a deep conversation and try to impress upon him. <laughs> like, hey, Alien baby on the way, just letting you know. Superb grub. This is some bold food. It's like an statement about life's inevitable uh, life's inevitable end dipped in sauce and sprinkled in spices. Oh, that's hilarious. Do we have that over here too? Yep. And then satisfying sarparilla from drinking root beer float. That sugary, sweet, familiar flavor is just what your sim needed to wash their cares away. Okay, so this guy's angry. That's so funny. I love that. Oh my gosh, they both want to drink a glass of nectar. <laughs> okay, so can we even order nectar though, you geese? I don't know if we can. Because like, I don't, uh, did I, I think I installed a mod that made it. Yes, I did install a mod that made it so we can have nectar. Thank goodness. I think that was from Icy Mun Mun as well. Phew, like just wiping away some nervousness there. But I, I want to see, come on you two, I want to be able to make it so that you guys can have like a good time here with your little date. And I wanted to go out back and I wanted to have them actually spend a little bit of time, well not with the horse manure, oh my good gravy, there's a lot of rocks here! <gasps> That's so cool! Oh, I wonder if we'll have time to go ahead and poke some of those! Holy cow, there's a lot of them! Wow! Maybe it's because there's some uh, out-of-this-world experiences over here. And now we're feeling very flirty from our drink. 
All right, I wonder if we can go ahead. And then, um, profess attraction, blow a kiss, first kiss. Oh my gosh, I feel like he sh we, they should have their first kiss after he's ready to like accept what's going on. Oh, look how flirty she is. I'll just leave her actions alone. Uh, maybe I'll try doing like a deep conversation from this end. Hmm. Let's see. Deep conversation. Come on, come on, Rocky. You're so close. Oh. Okay, ask what happened. Have a deep conversation with Rocky. There we go. Come on, you guys. Deep conversation. Okay. Oh, oh, they need a little kiss to seal the deal. Okay, look, she has to go to the restroom, so I wonder, physical... Can she kiss... Does kissing hands count? Let's have her kiss his hands. And then after that, I, I will release her to go to the restroom. But we'll see if she can just try to be like, Rocky, you need to trust me. I'm glad you like the food. We'll try to make it at home sometime. I'm not the best cook, but like... Does that count? Oh, that counted! That was so cute! Oh, and if she orders drinks! Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm gonna have her order. Uh, order drink for... Oh my gosh. Okay, well that actually counted. <laughs> I didn't expect that to actually count. Um, okay, well, we'll have her order some drinks in just a minute. I'm gonna send her off to go to the restroom. And Rocky, you can go ahead and you can sit and wait for your food. And maybe we'll do something... Uh, Hercules! Oh my gosh. I need to start, like, bringing horse toys with me everywhere so that we've got them. Let's see. Is our food coming? That's so cool! I never knew that you could order twice! Oh my gosh, look! It's like on fire! Okay, that's the perfect... That's the perfect thing for Rocky. Like, look at how cool that is. It's literally on fire. Oh my goodness. Okay, he would love that. <laughs> All right, let's take another photo of this experimental dish. Let's take a couple, actually, because I have a feeling, can we sell one of these? Yes, we can sell some of them to the, like, uh, publications. I could totally see that being something that Rocky would want to do. Uh, and then he also wants to take a selfie, because he'd be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, check me out. Let's see. Sell the publication for fame. List on Plopsy. This is just really funny. I'm going to take one more, and then I'm going to let him go ahead and eat. There we go. Aw, and so we had a nice silver date. I wish we had had a gold, but I don't know why they didn't get up to gold. Maybe they needed more kissing or something? They were out of things to do. Hmm. I'll have to look into that. Also, I have the feeling that this gentleman wants us to, like, leave. Do we know him? There's Ashlyn. Do we have a new... Compatibility... Oh, Smitten! Enamored. Rocky can't explain it, but he's really enamored with Ashlyn, and the sight of her makes Rocky's heart beat faster. That's really cute! And do we have anything for Rocky? Oh, soulmates! Oh my gosh! That's how she feels? She feels about, like, soulmates about Rocky? That's adorable! Ashlyn! Oh, Alright, well, this was a very cute little date. Oh, it was know. very much what I was hoping. And I think I could let her go ahead and order a glass of nectar really quickly. Rocky, are you good? No, 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 don't go. Don't go talk to Duke. You finish that. Finish that food. <laughs> All right, since he's already standing, I'm going to go ahead uh, and then I'm going to do, 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 order a drink. So let's just order drinks for ourselves because Rocky is eating something else. We'll have a little bit of, there's the apple nectar, potato nectar, strawberry nectar. Uh, we'll have some strawberry nectar, just to end the night off. And then we'll go ahead and pay for our meal. Look at Rocky! <laughs> I really love how he's just, like, nibbling his meal. There we go. And so, having completed eating it, does that make it so he could have potentially- Yeah, take notes! <gasps> so that's taking notes on, like, what he could have cooked. That's adorable. Oh my gosh, it counts as out to breakfast now, because we've been out for so long. Alright, maybe we should go ahead and end the meal pay for it we ordered a glass of nectar drink a glass of nectar from the bar the restaurant hopes you enjoyed your meal that's adorable that's so funny did we finish drinking our nectar and are, is she gonna take notes on it too huh 
Well, apparently that didn't count for like drinking her glass of nectar, but there we go. All right. Well, my plan was to have them come out and do a little stargazing to end the night off because they were going to go ahead. We still can stargaze, but I was going to have them come out and I was going to have like them look at the stars together, maybe do some, some stargazing. So let's actually go here and all right, we're all done. We're all done with our meal, guys. Out we go. And what Ashlyn wanted to do, uh, but the sun is like obviously rising now, which is really funny, is she wanted to go ahead and spend some time stargazing with Rocky and using this telescope so that he could see some of the planets and the places that she's been and that she understands so that hopefully he could go ahead and he could like figure out this is this is like a serious deal. Um, and she is attracted to him, so we'll have her confess attraction. And then I think we'll do... Can we ask to ask about love life? Uh, ask to stargaze. There we go. And I might let them stargaze for just a second. And then I will have Rocky do what last little bit of stargazing he can through this telescope. <laughs> but it, for some odd reason, is here at this very interesting diner that may not be there in the morning. Hmm. There you go, you two. Oh my gosh. Oh, cute. So the Plopsy stuff seems to finally be working. I guess nobody just wanted Ashlyn's like random pictures, but they'll take some of her other stuff. Oh, I forgot we have all of these gifts too. So because we're trying to convince him like, hey, you're you're expecting a baby. I think we're going to go ahead and we'll gift him like the, the pregnancy books <laughs> to try to be like, come on, like you really, it's kind of important that you, you note this. Are you guys going to stargaze or is are you out of time to stargaze because the sun is up now? Come on, stargaze. You've only got like a couple minutes left. Come on, Ashlyn. Oh man. Ashlyn, the moon is setting. I was going to have Rocky use the freaking like observatory. Come on. Oh my gosh. Okay, so she's refusing to do that. <laughs> All right, well, let's have him go ahead and uh, uh, stargaze for the last couple seconds he can. And then I'm going to have her come over and she's just going to poke at some of these odd metals and crystals that happen to be here at this very interesting diner site. Uh, and she's just going to encourage him like, why don't you go ahead and you kind of look through that for just a minute? I think you might see some interesting things because the sun is just about like up and he won't be able to stargaze much longer. And meanwhile, what are we finding over here? Ooh, a capsule! Alright, what's inside? Oh my gosh, there's so many rocks! <gasps> I am not used to seeing this many! It must just be because, like, the, the alien stuff is- Oh, wow, they're all capsules? Well... Oh, look at that! Rocky just reached logic level 2! We can collect plant samples and analyze them now. Oh my gosh, so if he's up to level 2 from this. Maybe he's starting to finally put together some pieces and think, oh, okay, wait a second. Like, hold up. Level two? Let's see. I don't know. Oh, I think she, I don't know why she just got all those satisfaction points. But I love that idea that Rocky actually just got, um, pyrite. Oh, and she got robot. What the heck? Wow. I don't know why these things are here, but this is really fun. All right, we'll gather a couple more of them. I do love the fossils. But I think we're good then, because now Rocky's feeling stressed from uh, his close-knit friend balance crashing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, he's feeling a little bit stressed, and I think it's time to go to bed. Uh, we'll let him go ahead and come over here to take one heck of a really awesome selfie. But I do like that his logic is finally going up. Uh, not enough to believe with this whole like, alien pregnancy thing, uh, but we're getting up there. And then Ashlyn, okay, good. She's still digging stuff up. And then we'll go ahead and we will take ye oldie selfie because that's the way Rocky does things. And we'll see how many more of these. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Rocky, that's so funny. Oh my goodness. That is a very, um, he's not, he's not really feeling it, huh guys? He's not really feeling it. All right. Rocky, you goose bucket. 
Like, I hope that made you happy at least. Fish for compliments. He is indeed being his self-absorbed self. All right, time to go. He's crashing out. And uh, we've got quite a few interesting things, but all right, guys, there we go. <laughs> I really love that we were able to come to this little diner. I just really wanted them to have a chance to go ahead and just see what might happen if they kind of poked around at the alien dishes. I hope we can cook them at some point in the future. Um, and we're getting quite a few. Ooh, I haven't seen this many elements and crystals in forever. Oh man, all right. Well, we've got quite a bit going on and hopefully we will be able to continue to work with Rocky as he continues to return home so that he can take good care of himself. Uh, and he's starting to go, maybe I might have something going on after all. This is kind of weird how I always have to be running to the, the restroom all the time and I'm always hungry. And that alien food smelled really good. He's starting to put the pieces together, our Rocky. Oh, well. I'll see you guys next time. Stay curious, everyone. Bye-bye.